Hello, everybody. This is Teresa Parker with Teresa Parker Art. And today has been one of those kind of a strange days. It's sprinkled for about 10 minutes. And then somebody drove up the road and managed to slide it into a one of the power transformers. So into the pole. So it did not the transformer out, but we're going to see how long I can be live for before they take it all out and decide to cut me off. So we're just going to give this a shot here. I am going to paint a gnome on this little board I got today from Hobby Lobby. Um, they had a great sale, 40% off, and I just kind of thought this was the perfect shape for a gnome. And let's see, let's do, okay, we're just going to put it over here. I'm going to do his hat down so it kind of hangs down low because I like that look. And it comes back up like this. Yeah, that looks. And then I'm going to make him kind of a pumpkin color. I kind of like that. I like this color. It is called burnt orange. And I just, I really like the color. So maybe this probably needs to come down a little lower, actually. And I'm just kind of doing everything in outline and white so I can get my feeling about where everything's going to be. And his beard will end about here. And let's do him some long legs. Like, you know, let me get a maybe, let's see, about this wide. Let's try this. Let's do this. I kind of like his legs. We'll give him some skinny little legs. Maybe not that skinny. And I'm going to give him this leg over here. Ooh, got a lot of paint on that one. I don't like that. Okay. Huh? Some little legs. And we're going to give him furry boots. That's about right. I think put his boots here and his, yeah, I think that's good. Okay. So now I'm going to, let me wipe this off and let's go ahead, stay, let me get Some orange it's there with the burnt orange. I just love this color. It's kind of a, I don't know, fall, Halloween. It's kind of everything all wrapped up into one. And it's made by the Deco Art Americana right paints. And we'll put that on here. And this one will be in this painting along with all my other paintings from. This group, or all group, which is the Social Paint Club, and it's ten dollars a month, and it is for like um, the girls that are and guys who want to do the new. Um, I'll have two new paintings every month that you can use as long as you're in the group, and um, unpublished. And then I will also have these that are published, but. You can use anything you'd like. Um, I don't know right now. I think I have 40 or 50. I need to finish uploading. I just kind of started it. I have not opened it just yet. I'm going to be leaving town for about a week. And I thought I might open it but after um, what's coming up, Labor Day. And I might do it after that. So let's see. Let's do his legs. And it'll be good. So it's going to be for the founding members. The first time only, and it's going to be ten dollars, and you can cancel anytime you want. And then I also have a paint kit group that will be that is actually open all the time. And then every month you get a new painting, and it's a kit, so you get actually a whatever surface it is, be it something like this or canvas. Um, and you get all the paints that go with it. You get paint brushes. You get the description. Um, you get a sample of what 
what it's supposed to, what I paint it like. And I also will have a video for it. Um, so it's, it's kind of cool. It's uh, all inclusive. And then um, on, let's see, I think that's all the orange. And then with the $10 one, if you're used, I also have some marketing material and some, a little bit of coaching. It's not a coaching group, but I'll have a little bit of, you know, ideas of, of what you can do to um, um, do your marketing for it. And I'll have, you know, all the sheets done in Canva and, and your uh, parts list or your supplies list and all that too. And also videos and descriptions and pictures sorry i had something fall behind and take this little bit of black and let's put it on it real thin and let's put it kind of mark his hat kind of where it separates here from so you can kind of tell there's like a little shadow and um oh shoot this might be an emergency hi chesley yeah, why? Oh, you know, when Scott left to go to the city council meeting, he that it had just happened. Some guy, I don't know if it's because there were 10 drops of rain on the water or what, but he had actually just slid into the pole. So we were, we, yeah, we. Oh, no. Well, I appreciate you calling and checking on him. <laughs> no, no, he made it to the meeting. Okay, it was somebody else. He just, just everything's good. So I'm just waiting for them to cut off all the electricity around here, though, so they can redo the poll, right? So, yeah. oh my gosh i can't believe it is it but when he's got symptoms but when does he get tested for covid <laughs> no Uh, they want to see what's going on. Oh. Uh, yeah, everybody has allergies right now. They're, I know. He's got to be sick of doing COVID tests. Oh, sorry. Okay. So my neighbor turned out she thought it was my husband because it was the same kind of truck and they're all up sick and they think he's got COVID. So here's my personal life. <laughs> hey there. Oh, that's okay. So, okay. Well, I am doing a Facebook thing right now. So let's Let me call you right back, okay? Checking. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, sorry. So, yeah, real life settles in, you know? That's just kind of how it is. Anyway, so I made his little shoes. Can you see them? Okay. So, give him some little shoes, and these are actually going to end up together. So, let's bring his leg down like this. And we're just waiting to lose our electricity now. She said they've got all sorts of people down there. And so just a bunch of onlookers, I'm sure. Go take a little bit of the orange and go into the black. Now, this is when a little bit of damp paint is your friend because it just kind of blends right in. And I just kind of want it to be. A shadow so it looks like the hat is and then the the long piece that hangs off 
Okay, so now we've got that. And now let's go ahead and work on his beard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with gray. Now let's put gray as the foundation here. And that's just because you wanna be able to see the white. So if you do, oops, I'm kind of all right. I'll use it again later. This just goes in the fridge and I'll just may end up making that all gray when I'm done. But we're gonna go ahead and start with some gray. And I'm gonna put it right here where his beard is gonna go. And it's gonna go down here. Now go over the top of his legs and down here. And like that. Okay. So we live on property. Oops, that's still a little orange, and that's all right too. Um, so we live on a little bit of property, and all of us out here, you know, we're acres away from each other. So it's kind of nice when anything happens, everybody will check up on us. And, you know, we all check up on each other. It's really kind of nice. I like where we live. It's a it's pretty friendly pay, place. So I'm going to go ahead and put, let's take it out further, the gray. And we will go ahead. I don't need much there because we're going to go ahead and put white over that anyway. And I do have a little bit of the orange in his beard, which is fine. So we've got that. And I'm going to put a little bit of gray down here because I want to do his furry boots. I'm going to go a little bit of gray here. And then we'll let that kind of dry a little bit. So let me rinse this off. And in the meantime, well, that's kind of dry and nice. Um, even though the wood has a coating, it should dry pretty quick. I took out a little bit of pink. I don't know what is this, fuchsia, royal fuchsia, um, for his nose. And it's going to be a little too pink, but I thought maybe we could add a little orange into it. Let's see what happens. Maybe we'll keep his nose pink. And get that round. I can't talk and paint a straight line. I can't talk and paint a round circle either, can I? Okay. Pink doesn't look too awful bad. And I'm going to go ahead and go back over here. Oops. Well, this brush is old. Okay. And let's take a little bit of the gray. Just, just need a little, darn it. And we're going to take a little bit of gray. And this is going to have a little bit of a fluff on the end of it right there. Okay. And that's a little close to his beard, but that's all right. We'll make it stand out. Okay. So now I'm going to take the white, the pure white, and start going over the gray. And all I'm doing is putting down the brush and picking it up and kind of flicking it so that it just kind of leaves little marks like hair and give him his little beard. And I know that some like to do the curly beards and I just kind of like the, I like the flyaway beards. Those are my, my favorite on these guys. So just a little white. And oops, get around the nose real good here. Got a little pink in there. Take the white, fill that in. And I'll have to go back and redo the nose, but at least now I know where it is. It's a nice little placeholder. So I'm just going to do the white until I am satisfied how it looks. A little orange there. And that's okay too. So I might have that little gray out here. It will dry a little darker. So I'm not too awful worried about it blending into the, the white of the board, but we're 
we're going to have to wait and see what happens to the orange. And over here, I'm just going to dab it. into this little hat and it's got a little orange in it too which is fine because everything's orange on there and I'm going to do a little bit of the white with the top of the boots here and we'll give them some fluffy boots and that's a little damp still here and we might have to do another coating, which will be fine, too. Do it here. And now back over it, and it'll just be perfect. So let me go ahead and I'm going to fix his nose. With a little bit of paint. I love gnomes. They are so easy to paint and they can be any color. I mean, you can put hands on them, holding things. You can, I mean, you could be holding a pumpkin. Um, gosh, you can just do anything. But these guys, I just love them. They're just a lot of fun to paint. And pretty quick, as you can tell. So that's still a little damp. So we're going to leave that alone there. And I think while everything else is kind of drying, I'm going to take a little bit of the orange and let me kind of go over this again right here just to kind of put it in. not quite so dark. It's kind of blended in there. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to, you know, me and my polka dots. I'm going to put some polka dots on this hat. And I'm just using the end of my paintbrush. Makes for a nice circle. Get this on here. Okay, and I think, I think I'll do his legs dotted too. I was gonna make them stripes, but I think I'll go ahead and make them polka dots. Yeah, that looks good, I think. See how quick it comes together. It's just amazing. So I'm going to do a little, little bit more white here. And actually, this might be pretty good if I added some texture to it. Okay. A little white and orange, which is good. And down here, I'm going to do the fur. orange covered and get the gray covered. <laughs> yep. And then up here, get his gray covered. So what might really look nice on this guy is when he's dry, I might put some like the white or the iridescent, um, um, the shiny paint, the metallic paint. And that way his beard over here against the white would definitely stand out. Oops, got a little bit more orange in there, didn't I? So we're gonna have to let all that dry and do it again and that's okay. It just make the white stand out a little bit more. So now he's got his little beard going on. Isn't he cute? Gosh, can you see that? 
I got to get it right in the camera. Oh, wait, where is it? There it is. Yeah, so cute. But I love gnomes. So you just, they're just, I just think they're awesome. So we'll be doing some more gnomes for the holidays. We'll be gnome for the holidays. And. Okay. So, and I will cover that and get rid of the orange a little bit and fix his nose right here. And I guess he's pretty well done. That's pretty quick and easy, isn't it? Then I have to decide. I might make him holding a pumpkin. I wanted to show you how quick it is to do a gnome. And we will be painting them a lot this season, probably through the end of the year. And I will have some special um, things coming up too. We've got some really, really cute, winter items that are almost ready to be released. And I know it's really early, but it's just amazing how many people are, are interested in going ahead and starting everything early this year. It's surprising because last year we was kind of homebound. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And sorry about my personal phone call. And I hope you'll have a really good Thursday night. And I will be back again soon. And um, we will talk to you then. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.